All right, this one is hot off the press, and before you guys start inundating me with tons of requests for this distribution, I figured I'd better jump the gun and do a review on it. I am speaking about the latest release of Ubuntu 1310, right now, on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Upon first glance, it looks like this new version of Ubuntu boots a lot faster uh, than it did. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up a terminal in here. And then I'm going to type in top. Now, I just booted this up. Okay, and I haven't run anything except for this program, and it's telling me that it is using 739 megs of RAM. So that's quite a bit more than uh, a lot of your lightweight distributions that are out there. So you're probably going to want to run this on a minimum uh, with a minimum of one gig of RAM. And you're probably going to need a little bit of processor with this. Now, this also has some pretty cool... Uh, uh, graphical appearance. Now, I'm running this in a virtual box with uh, guest editions installed so that you can get an idea of what you are getting with this. Here are some of the new features that are being touted in Ubuntu 1310. You'll be able to search literally hundreds of different online sources directly from the Dash. Choose to filter Dash results in several different ways. Add or remove scopes from the dash to customize your experience. Uh, browse messages from social networking sites with the new friend scope. Get work done with style with LibreOffice 4.0. Now with new modern presentation templates and built-in support for Ubuntu's integrated menu bar. Yay! Just what I always wanted. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. All right, so we're going to look in our scopes here, and oh my goodness, look at all of these ads and uh, things for sale. It looks like Ubuntu starting to apply the Android approach and become an ad Nazi. You know, I think it would be a great idea if Ubuntu were to give us an option to opt out of this stuff when you install it. And unfortunately, I did not see anything with the installer. But the thing is, uh, Quidsup's channel will show you how to get rid of all of these things, because I can't remember where they were, and uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to run this. Looks classy, though. It looks very nice the way they laid all this out. Okay, well, let's go ahead and filter some results here. Okay, and you can see there's a lot of things that are pre-selected. So, well, maybe I just want to select just the application. So let me just unselect some stuff. And uh, so let's go in here. Let's unselect. Ugh. And as soon as I unselect, then the... Hold on. Let's try this again. I'm going to unselect all of these here because... Me, let's try it one more time. I want to unselect all of these because I basically want to have a look at the applications that are on. Okay, let's try something else. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. This will tell us what we have installed here. Let's go into filter results here. Okay, now we can filter out things uh, by different ways. Let's see what you get in accessibility. Okay, looks like, and let's turn off all here. Oh, yeah, we'll just select local apps because I just want to know what is installed on this and not what is available. Okay, so it looks like in accessibility, you get Onboard and an Orca screen reader. Uh, in customization, <laughs> ah, looks like your Dash plugins are all in here. Okay, what about developer? Okay, no developer. No fonts. Let's see what you get in graphics. Okay, looks like you get Events, the Document Viewer. You get an Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell Photo Manager, and Simple Scam. Where is the GIMP? That's all right. You get it from the Software Center. 
Apparently, they didn't want to have this too big in file size. Uh, actually, um, it was less than a gig to download, so that wasn't a bad thing. All right, and uh, what do you get in media? Okay, you get Brazero for making coffee coasters. I mean, burning discs. You get Rhythm Box, music player, and of course, it looks like you get a video player, and I'm willing to bet it's probably Totem. Okay, well, they have a science and engine here, but mm, nothing in there. Uh, what kind of accessories do you get? <laughs> there we go. Okay, I hate this recently used thing at the top. But it looks like you get a standard complement of accessories with this. A file roller, calculator, character map, your all of your contacts. You can manage your disks. Uh, you get Nautilus with this. A font viewer, help, a screenshot, security and privacy, terminal, text editor, editor and time and date. And of course, a place here for all of your Dash plugins. Personally, probably a lot more plugins than I would ever want to use, um, especially for those of you who don't like sharing information, that sort of thing. You know, we all have been hearing the news about Facebook spying on you and they're spying on you and, you know, PRISM and NSA and spy, 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 spy. Uh, so I'd probably shut a lot of these off, although I do shop a lot on eBay. I do like Amazon, but I'd like to have the ability to shut that off because I'm not going to use the scopes for shopping. I'm going to use my web browser, hey? What do you guys think about that? Okay. Let's see if there's anything in education here. Hmm, nothing. You do get a few games with this, though. You get uh, I'll Riot Solitaire. You get Mahjong. Pretty good game, too. I sat down and played a little bit. You get uh, Minesweeper. My favorite game of all time. That's the thinking man's game there. I can usually solve it in less than a minute. And then, of course, you get Sudoku, which I can't figure out at all. All right. In Internet, you get desktop sharing. Uh, great if you have any problems and you want to be able to share your desktop with somebody else. They can uh, help you pinpoint any problems that you may be having. You get Empathy Internet Messaging, uh, Firefox Web Browser, Remina Remote Desktop Client, Thunderbird Mail, and Transmission. For all of you people who like to go distro hopping, you can download your uh, torrents and uh, easily download those distributions and that sort of thing. And actually, I found I've had better results with downloading distributions using BitTorrent rather than using an FTP or HTTP server. So, uh, nice little tip for those of you who like to download and play with different distributions. I had really good results with BitTorrent. Okay, you get the full LibreOffice suite along with the Events Document Viewer that I mentioned before, and then a few system tools to get the most out of the system, such as your Disk Usage Analyzer. Uh, you can manage your passwords and keys here. You have Power Statistics, uh, Security and Privacy, a Software Updater, uh, the Startup Disk Creator, uh, system log, system monitor, system settings, system testing, the Ubuntu Software Center, which is your primary source for getting all the free and open source applications that will run on this. Of course, they also have a store, too, where you can get some paid applications and games, if that's what you wish. Uh, you manage your user accounts easily right here. Add new users, remove them, whatever. And, of course, uh, X-Diagnose. Hmm, never seen that before. I'll have to play with that sometime, and that way I can uh, do a report on it. Let's see what else we have here in these other scopes. Okay, this is, uh, okay, search for files and folders. Okay, this is the music button, I'm assuming. Ah, and more stuff that you can buy. So, looks like, uh, yeah, I wonder if they get a commission on all this stuff. Oh, well. And uh, let's see what we've got. Music, uh, nothing. Of course, I didn't upload any music. Uh, search your photos. And uh, nothing to match your search here for social networking messages. But that is a cool idea. So if you do a lot of social networking and that sort of thing, yeah, it's great to have this integrated into, into your operating system. But personally, I'm a browser kind of guy. I want to keep everything in my web browser separate from my desktop. So let me, got, uh, let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, all in all... It's looking uh, crisp and a lot cleaner. Uh, it looks um, a lot better than previous editions. So it looks like there is some improvement. Now, something I'd like to note, Xmere did not ship with this uh, distribution. I guess they're going to be waiting until uh, the next long-term support release. Uh, so for those of you who are in fear of Mir and... Uh, 
don't know uh, whether or not you know to try this mirror is not included so uh, this is still using uh, X org or X server uh, so pretty good as it is um something I wanted to note is this is um, only going to get updates for nine months so if you're looking for long-term support I still recommend precise pangolin which is 1204 and um, this was my take on uh, Saucy Salamander. I'm out.